Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. Acon Digital Acoustica provides tools for audio editing, post-production, podcast creation, mastering, and audio restoration. It's a standalone application, which includes a suite of plugins for various audio processing and noise reduction tasks. There's also a spectral editor, which allows for visual and precise manipulation of sound using the spectrogram and the accompanying tools. In addition to the standalone version, Pro Tools users have access to an ARA version of Acoustica directly within the edit window. Acoustica Essentials is included with Pro Tools, but if you purchase either the standard or premium editions of Acoustica, you'll have access to much more advanced tool sets in the ARA version, with premium edition being the fully featured version. When you do purchase and install Acoustica, you also get plugins which you can use within your DAW. In this video, we'll be using some of these within Pro Tools to clean up some audio. The first example is some footsteps which have a bit too much background noise. Now this could either be a Foley recording made in a place where you couldn't completely control the background noise, or more likely, location audio captured at the time of filming which just needs cleaning up. By removing the background noise, we'd then of course be able to build our own ambience which we have full control over. Before I process this, here's a quick reminder of how it sounds to begin with. We'll use a real-time plugin on this, and it's going to be Acon Digital Denoise 2. This essentially has two modes of operation, adaptive, which figures out the noise for you, and noise profile, where you tell it what the noise is by selecting a section of noise and clicking learn. I'll select a section between footsteps and then just play this short bit. Okay, now we'll just enable that, and also I'll choose dynamic profile. This measures how noise fluctuates over time and adapts accordingly. That's done a very good job. I could change the reduction amount if I wanted to increase or decrease the amount of processing. Also, let's just reset this and try the adaptive mode. Using this mode with the broadband setting should work best in this case due to the nature of the noise we're dealing with. The other option would be combined, which also affects the tonal components of a signal. But in this case, let's see how broadband gets on. And with minimal effort, that's done a great job at cleaning up these footsteps. I found that increasing the adaptation time can actually help to retain some of the natural decay or reverb of a sound. Or of course you can go the other way and have it respond more quickly. Okay, next example. Really to hear about the amazing commercial work that's happening across the globe to make sure that these great medicines are actually making their way to every patient who can benefit from it. It's going to be a great meeting. Looking forward to connecting with all of you. A very distorted dialogue recording from a presentation which also has some unwanted background noise too. Let's deal with the distortion first. We'll use D-Clip. Let me just mute this and I'll play it in the background so I can describe it. In the histogram, we can see where the energy lies in both the positive and negative parts of the audio signal. These areas where you can see little peaks here and here represent where the clipping is actually happening. We'll set the threshold just below the clipping point for each channel, and because the plugin is going to reconstruct the top of the waveform, I'll then reduce the output level to give a completely clean signal. Let's reset this and give it a go really to hear about the amazing commercial work that's happening across the globe to make sure that these great medicines are actually making their way to every patient who can benefit from it. It's going to be a great meeting. Looking forward to connecting with all of you. Okay, this seems about right. Really to hear about the amazing commercial work that's happening across the globe to make sure that these great medicines are actually making their way to every patient who can benefit from it. Now that's done, let's deal with that underlying background noise, including those occasional knocks which happen throughout the recording, and we're going to use Extract Dialog for this. This is based on a machine learning algorithm, and it intelligently recognises the difference between dialog and noise. Really simple to use. Let's try it. Really to hear about the amazing commercial work that's happening across the globe to make sure that these great medicines are actually making their way to every patient who can benefit from it. It's going to be a great meeting. Looking forward to connecting with all of you. Good, and I'll just refine the sensitivity and the maximum attenuation just to try and give the best balance. Really to hear about the amazing commercial work that's happening across the globe to make sure that these great medicines are actually making their way to every patient who can benefit from it. It's going to be a great meeting. Looking forward to connecting with all of you. Good result. And just out of interest, here it is with the plugins inactive. 
really to hear about the amazing commercial work that's happening across the globe to make sure that these great medicines are actually making their way to every patient who can benefit from it. It's going to be a great meeting. Looking forward to connecting with all of you. And now with both DClip and Extract Dialogue active. Really to hear about the amazing commercial work that's happening across the globe to make sure that these great medicines are actually making their way to every patient who can benefit from it. It's going to be a great meeting. Looking forward to connecting with all of you. Let's take a listen to one final example. This is a location recording of a stream with some running water, but due to an equipment fault, there's some very serious hum in the recording. Obviously, this is an extreme example. In practice, most hum will be significantly less obtrusive than this, but it's a good example to use as a demonstration of de-hum. With this, you start by setting the frequency to match the fundamental in the hum. If you're not sure what the frequency is, you can always click the target button and it will latch onto it. Then increase the number of harmonics as needed. You can use this spectrum display to help you make a decision on this. Finally, if needed, you can adjust the sensitivity. I'll reset this and try it. That's done and it's obviously made a huge improvement. So now let's do an AB comparison. I'll bypass it and then unbypass it partway through. So that's using just a few of the plugins which are included with Acon Digital Acoustica to clean up audio in Pro Tools. For more information on Acoustica, visit acondigital.com. Thanks for watching.